Right, so I'm building a new e-bike up and I've got this uh, 250 watt rear hub motor wheel. Uh, those are the bits that it came with. And a little bag there to keep the controller in. Tire, inner tube, rim tape, controller, cadence sensor for pedal assist, throttle there with a little display and power button on it. Some uh, brake levers as well. I don't know if this is the fashion or something, but these brake levers are absolutely massive. The lever on it is like an inch and a half bigger than a standard brake lever. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there, but I'm probably not going to be using them. I would like to have the uh, brake cutout lead on now. I have seen on eBay you can get some adapters to fit onto standard brake levers, so I'm going to have a look at that next month. Um, completely spent up this month, so yeah. <coughs> uh, the wheel itself actually looks pretty decent, I've got to admit. It's uh, aluminium, this one is, which is nice. The old one, my 500 watt one there, that's all steel and bloody heavy uh, that one still works absolutely fine i've had that for like six years now or something considering everybody on the uh video what i posted uh said it won't last five minutes it's got over eight thousand miles on it so it's done pretty well considering they said it was chinese junk uh just goes to show not all stuff from china is junk uh but yeah this wheel looks pretty decent uh it's got disc brake mount on here so that's pretty good though. I have seen wheels on eBay as little as £100 now, uh, for a front one anyway. The rear ones tend to be slightly more expensive because you've got the free wheel on there. <coughs> but yeah, <coughs> pretty good. Uh, battery wise, I did buy a crap load of batteries off of eBay and actually wasted my time. Uh, there's some of them down here, ones that were still kind of usable but they're not good enough for a e-bike battery really okay for a torch or something I got literally 20 batteries which were over 2 amp hours and were, you know they didn't lose the surface charge after you know a couple of days all these ones here they'll be at 4.2 volts and then they'll drop right down to like 3.9 volts so you know it's not even worth using them I've still got some down there which I haven't even split the packs open yet so yeah unfortunately I wasted quite a lot of money on buying batteries off of uh, eBay uh, really unless you can get laptop batteries free of charge from somewhere I really wouldn't pay for them nowadays I really wouldn't bother I mean some people are selling like 50 laptop batteries on there for £300 that's ridiculous and some people will pay that as well I didn't pay that which was lucky I got 70 packs for uh, 120 pounds which I mean is still a lot of money but you know I thought I was going to probably get at least you know one decent pack out of it but anyway I uh, in the end I purchased this here which is a 36 volt 10.4 amp hour now this was like the cheapest one on eBay so <laughs> once again I might be out of pocket here but uh, hopefully it should be okay the listing said it had Samsung cells in it I have actually took it apart and the cells are branded Samsung so uh, yeah hopefully I did have a look in there because it's actually quite heavy so you know the density of the batteries uh, probably pretty good but I did have a look in there as well to make sure there was no lead in there it could be lead weights in there you know making it feel like the batteries are heavier but yeah hopefully I'm going to test it out, test the capacity because this was like £118 and if that is the true capacity or even if it's just slightly under, I mean if it was like 9.9 .9 amp hours, brilliant uh, I might purchase another one <coughs> if it's any good but yeah, I won't tell you where I got it from because uh, they haven't got many on there. And if it is any good, I'm going to test it this weekend. I might purchase another one next week, possibly. But yeah, that's charging at the moment anyway. So yeah, I mean, I'm going to see about building this up in the next video. The bike that I'm actually putting it on is this bike here. It's my old uh, Dirt Jump Trails bike. Uh, which is about 20 years old now I think or about 
15 possibly, 15, 20 anyway. Still in reasonable good condition. It's got some scra scrapes on it and that, but oh well. I've just completely cleaned it, degreased it, re-lubed everything, so it's all good. I have actually got the battery bit on here at the moment. I just quickly shoved that on there. So yeah, uh, that's what I'm going to be getting up to anyway. Be building this up in the next couple of days. So yeah, stay tuned. Please subscribe, and then uh, you'll be not and hit the little bell icon, then you'll be notified when I upload the new video of the e-bike. <clears throat> yeah, so thanks for watching. Hope you stay tuned. And a uh, bit late, I know, but happy new year because this is the uh, first video I've done this year. Yeah, I hope everybody's well. Uh, yeah, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.